Hello friends. Hi girls. Hey, I am just a teeny bit early for my part in the uh, Sparkle Room uh, Fairy Garden event today. Um, but I wanted to just be here to be ready whenever they're ready for me. Um, Manny is wrapping up his product or project if you guys are in the Sparkle Room. I hope you have all been in there uh, watching. It's just been an amazing two days and um, it's a lot of pressure being towards the end just when you see all of these beautiful things everyone's been making and then it's like oh wow <laughs> you know hi Chris okay I'm ready so um, yeah you think oh wow now I have to make something I have to follow up with these guys they were all amazing like amazing I, I started like trying to remember everybody that did all of these things and there were just too many of them. So if you're not in the Sparkle Room, you need to be in the Sparkle Room. If you're on my page, uh, seeing me here, I've been posting the link for days and days. Just scroll back. Oh, thank you, stars. My goodness, what a way to kick off, kick off my event. So, okay, let's get started. So when um, Chris and Kathy, thank you so much for having me again. It's just always a, a thrill. I think it would be really um, sad to not be able to be a part of it. Uh, so I'm so excited to always be um, one of the girls. <laughs> so anyway, um, what I'm what so when they said we're doing a fairy garden, you guys that follow me know I have a big fairy garden outside, right? And um, those of you that don't know, stick around or come back uh, towards the end or um, forward through a replay, however you want to see it. But I'm going to take you outside. Thank goodness it's not raining. Um, it was pouring all day. So uh, I'm in Ohio and um, so I got my fairy garden as ready as I could for you guys. And then um, I, I was really kind of thinking, what do I need? What does it need? And every year, if you have a fairy garden and you lay the little rocks out, you know, by the end of the season with the neighbor's cats and, you know, the dog and, and little kids and um, just, uh, you know, the weather, my rocks, my little sidewalks are always askew. They're always a mess. So this year when the girls said they were doing this event, um, I want to make a better sidewalk. Um, I didn't want to buy it. I want to make a highlight. Hi, you guys. Hi, you guys. You know I get distracted with all of the, the hellos, so I'll come back and say, hi yeah, when we're all done. <laughs> Otherwise, I won't get it done. So let me tip you down just a bit. So what I'm using is heavy-duty aluminum foil, okay? Um, any aluminum foil is going to work. Um, there's uh, any paper that you want to use. Um, all I'm doing is creating a form, and we are literally going to... Um, we're literally going to make a, a true sidewalk. <laughs> like, we really are. Um, yeah, like a real one. Like a manly sidewalk. <laughs> and we're going to do it. So I, I did do a sample and it cracked. <laughs> it didn't work. But I figured out, I think I just put it in too thin. So we're going to try another one. But I'm going to show you, for the most part, it did really great. Hi, you guys. Hi, Dina. Hi, you guys. I just happened to look up and see Vina. I'm not ignoring all of it. I think I just saw Rebecca. I've got my good glasses laying here to, um, I had to get glasses made so I could read from an arm's length. Uh, so what I think I did wrong in when I made my last sidewalk, which let me show you before you, uh, maybe you might, you know, not be thrilled about being on here, but here's like, you know, maybe you don't think you need a sidewalk. I'm gonna try a couple other little super easy things. Uh, if I think I'm gonna have plenty of time. So here's my sidewalk, but I broke it. <laughs> but it's still it's still plenty long, so I think I'll be able to use this. Um, so we're gonna talk about, I'm gonna show you how I made it, but I was, I was hoping to have kind of, you know, the shape, so it's kind of like an S a little bit. I was kind of going for that, and now I just kind of have a little curve, but it'll be fine, um, it'll be fine. You know, when you're making it yourself, it's fine. Uh, if I'm making it for somebody else, then like, oh no, we gotta redo, redo, redo. So all I did was make this form and I kind of, like here I have a bend, whoops, and then I was I kinda wanted it to bend again. So let's bend it again like that. And then see how I'm just kind of pressing and making my little, my little shape with my foil, okay? So then uh, I wanna smash it down as good as I can so that I can keep it as thick as I can. So that might be a stress point there where I've got a big wad. We'll see. I'm no pro at this. Like I said, I just kind of 
came up with the idea. Uh, so, okay, now, um, I do, uh, I paint houses, <laughs> kind of, my, like my, I, my job job, and um, we do a lot of German schmear, have you ever heard of that, where you smear, schmear, <laughs> um, white mortar over your bricks, or whatever color mortar you like, so I always have a lot of white mortar, <laughs> I always have a bag here, it seems like, so um, all I'm using is white mortar mix from Home Depot. And I put, I don't know, a cup and a half-ish, something like that. Um, and then I just you just keep adding water. Now you can see it's a little too powdery thick. Okay. Oh, I hope I don't break my spoon because I don't want to have to get up and get another one. Okay. So let me just put in a little bit more. It's a little too thick. Let me put in a little bit more water. And we're I've got enough here to make a few batches. Um, I've got, I'm hoping to make at least two sidewalks here. So let me stir it. I mean, isn't this just like a really cool thing that you think, I can't do that, That's, I can't do that. Yes, you can, yes you can. And if you have a friend that might wanna do it, split the bag with her. It's not expensive, it's just heavy. You get a lot in a bag. Um, you could do it with concrete mix if your husband has some concrete laying around. Um, really, you mix it the same way. We learned that when we did our pumpkins. If you, those of you that follow me remember our pumpkins that we've done. Um, so, okay. So, I'm just, I'm still trying to get it. I don't want to get it too wet. Um, that could also, well, oh, oh, I might have just got it too wet. <laughs> After I said I don't want it too wet, I might have got it too wet. Oh, no, it feels good. Okay, yeah, I needed to just do it. All right, so I'm going to stir it around here and get it good and stir it up. I do have gloves here, but you really don't need them. Okay, so I'm just I'm just doing it in a plastic container. It's a cottage cheese. <laughs> so, um, and you can make it as skinny. You can make it as long. I just suggest making your sides higher up. Um, you can see how thin I went and why it probably cracked. It wasn't super thick. So I'm making my sides higher on this particular one, okay? So then I'm literally just going to, oh wait, oh, oh, oh. wait, wait, wait. No, I might have a tough spot to get out, but I did spray it, I forgot about this. I did spray it with uh, paint, or not paint, this is uh, olive oil, but just spray it with something. I don't know if it's necessary, but I thought it might help. So do that if you remember, and I didn't do that there, but let me start around here. <laughs> It, there. it might help. If it's going to break, maybe it'll break away from that. All right, there we go. Okay, so then I'm just going to spread this in, spread it all around. I think I'm going to take the whole batch, and we're going to make another batch for the other one. Okay, I didn't get it stirred completely, so I've got to stir it a little bit there. I'm trying not to break my spoon, is what I'm doing. Should have grabbed two to make it stronger. Okay. All right, now, the other thing, if you notice, I kept this mortar mix white. I did not uh, tint it, and this one I tinted, I put some black chalk paint in it. I just poured a squirt full of black chalk paint um, after I had it wet and ready to go. So that could have been another reason for the crack. So I'm gonna say if you want to tint your, thanks for the hearts, you guys. If you wanna tint your uh, mortar mix, then do it before you add your water. Let that be part of the water that you're adding in, okay? That's just a, a tip. I don't know that it makes a difference. I can't say that I've made 10 of these and this is what you have to do. I'm telling you, I've never made, I mean, I made one yesterday just so that it, I knew it wasn't gonna be a fail fail. Um, and I kind of failed it a little bit, but not, it's not terrible. It's not terrible. I'm definitely gonna use the sidewalk. So, okay, so then, um, let me just kind of stamp it down a little bit, and then, oops, get that out of there. Let me just get that clear out of there. Okay, so then we have our form, just like, you know, they would form up, um, you know, wood and put the boards in and all of that stuff. That's exactly what we're doing. So you could, you know, make pieces out of it and divide it with even popsicle sticks or whatever, or just make small, I probably make smaller trays and then put them all together. But anyway, then um, I think I'm gonna, I really like the slate. I ordered, 
three different types of rocks off of Amazon. This one's called Small World Slate and Stone. Um, and it says for the, for the uh, dedicated hobbyist. So there you go, that's me. So then <laughs> we're going to just lay the, lay, the, um, lay the slate pieces in. Now this one is not a very good one because it's so thick. So I'm not gonna use it. Most of them are real thin like this and flat. And then literally, I'm just going to kind of puzzle piece. Um, is it not amazing that I have something that no one, I thought for sure someone was going to do this. Now I'm gonna build a bridge. Uh, I will tell you that my bridge is not as awesome as the other girl's bridges. Um, I just kind of needed a simple bridge. And I was gonna nix the bridge when I saw all these cute bridges, but I thought, you know, it's an easy one. And I think they're all kind of easy. You're like Beth at Rekind Rekindled Blessings, she said she wasn't into it at all. And then once she got going, she was loving it. And that is kind of what I'm getting at. Like you might think you want just an easy little silly bridge. And then when you get going, you might want to step it up. Oh, thank you for the hearts, you guys. You might want to step it up and um, do a little bit better bridge. You know, you just never know. So I'm going to show you today a crazy, silly, easy stinking easy bridge that I'm almost embarrassed to show you, <laughs> to be honest, because it's ridiculously, ridiculously easy. But um, it was really all I needed for my fairy garden. So um, I'm going to, I'm going to show you because I'm going to make it. So we might as well, we might as well make it together. And who knows, you might like it. I'm going to like it. It's going to be perfect for me. But I sure did like the ones out of the sticks. Um, was it Rekindled Blessings? I think she had some sticks and, oh gosh, there was another gal that had some really cute sticks and one had little pieces of wood and I, and I didn't, you know, I don't know her either. There are several new people that were in the Sparkle Room um, this time since it was a two day event. They had room for lots of new people. And so I've got all kinds of new people to um, follow. And I know I've been sharing everybody um, out on my personal page because I don't know that um, they saw my posts about the, the Sparkle Room, and I know all of you guys have been seeing, and a lot of you have said you were going to be there and all of that. So um, anyway, I've been sharing everybody over there. Um, and listen, I made this sidewalk and this long sidewalk, and I still have enough for all of the, I still have enough to do another sidewalk, maybe two. So keep that in mind. If you go to Amazon uh, and get Small World Slate and Stone, um, that's what I, that's what I'm using. And um, there's plenty in that little bag. Actually, I ordered two bags. I don't know where, I have another, oh, it's over here. I have a second bag that I'm going to send back because I knew I was going to like the slate a lot. So there you go, there is one, and I'm just gonna shove it to the side. And then since you all saw how I did that, I've got another one here, and just for um, time's sake, I'm gonna go ahead and just use it rather than make another one. Literally, you just make a tray. However, you know, just, just squish it around and get yourself a tray going. Um, oh shoot, I need more stuff. Okay, hang on a minute. Hang on, we'll mix, we'll, we'll mix some mortar here. <laughs> So I got a cup measure, which is a little too big for my thing. So I'm going, whoo, I'm going about, that was probably three fourths of a cup. So let's just say a cup. Uh, I'll go a cup. Ish, you guys, ish. And I'm gonna dump some water in here. A little more than I did the last time, maybe. I feel like I'm making pizza crust. You guys ever make Chef Boyardee pizza? This is exactly what it's like. This is exactly what it's like. Oh my gosh, it is so much like that. And then you just figure I want it a little thinner than a pizza crust would be. <laughs> it's not a sticky doughy, but it's exactly what, gosh, I feel like I'm making pizza right now. Okay, so let's get this all stirred together here. Oops. Yep, I need a little bit more. I shouldn't have to fight it. Um, somebody might say, what's the consistency? I'm not very good. Um, oh, someone says horrible. Did this say horrible? Ah. Or is that? Uh-oh. Somebody says horrible. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, maybe there's a better way. Maybe I'm not doing it right. Doesn't that, doesn't that figure that I haven't even looked up? Oh, someone's going to keep watching. 
Am I blinking out? What's wrong? Why is it horrible? What's happening? <laughs> We're chocolate. Oh my gosh. Hello. Hi, Diane. Let me see. I can't see anything. Where's my glasses? What's happening? Something happened. Oh, thank you. Is that Beth? Oh, thank you, Beth. I think something's happening here and I'm not seeing it, so I don't want to miss all the good stuff. <laughs> oh, hi, Marilyn. Thank you. Oh, gosh. It's like, hello. I can see everybody. Hi, friends. There's actually people out there. Oh, my gosh. How fun is this? Thank you for sprinkling. Okay, I'm a little sticky. I'm a little like pizza dough. It's not enough. You can see. So I'm going to add a little bit more water. You don't want pizza dough. You want it more pudding-ish, I guess. Yeah, probably a little more pudding-ish. Miracle Whip-ish. <laughs> um, an edible fairy garden. Oh, how cute, Jody. Yeah, that's an idea. We should have had Mrs. Claus on here, right? Is that where you're going? You were getting people kicked out. You got, Earl. oh, oh it's going too fast. They are saying it's horrible how Facebook drops followers. Yes, that's true. I know. People will message me and say, I thought you weren't on Facebook anymore. And I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Kind of why I'm like, I'm doing TikTok and YouTube and Instagram. Like, I'm kind of trying them all um, just to see who's my favorite friend these days. I've been Facebooking since 2000 and. 13, I think. It's been a long time. Uh, it's been a long time. So, um, yeah, I'm kind of trying some other stuff out. The TikTok's awfully fun, you guys. It's awfully fun. Short, sweet, right to the point. Okay, so let me spread this out. It still may be a little thicker, but you know, it might, even with it being a little bit thicker, might keep it from cracking. Um, I probably should have mixed up a little bit more pretty thin. I feel pretty thin, but we're going to go ahead with it. I've got plenty of rocks. I've got plenty of mortar. And just for you guys to see, I'm just going to go ahead and go with it. I think we should be okay. And then I can't wait to take you outside and show you my garden. I hope you all can stick around for that. Um, that would be great. Where's my glove? I had a glove on here just to scrape out my spoon. Okay, there we go. So this will be the last one that I'm going to do. And then I bought this bag of rocks too. And I thought they were so pretty. Um, oh, hello from Texas. So these are all just the multicolored and I have like bigger rocks of like this that I always made my little sidewalks with, but they're always so messed up. Uh, and where's my, I don't see my label for that one. But I also got, I got all of these off of Amazon. Oh, here it is. Oh no, that's not it. Um, that's for my popsicle sticks. Um, then I also found these. They're like for people that do the dots, you know, the little dots, but they're um, black. And so I was going to do three different sidewalks. I was going to do this one, that one, and this one. But I, for, for today, for this, I'm just going to finish this one. Hi, Patty. Thank you for sprinkling. Thank you so much, you guys. It's so nice of you. Um, okay, so I wanted to get settled down and a little smooth there. Okay, let me get this built up. The beauty of this, too, is that the edges aren't perfectly straight. Like, if you were, if you were to use boards, or I think you could use popsicle sticks, but... I'm going to have mulch up against it, so it doesn't matter. Yes, pea gravel would work great. You don't have to buy anything, you guys. I just, you know, you know me, I went a little, I always have to go a little, you know, pretty. I don't know. I want it to be pretty, pretty. But I did. There's a place where we, um, we walk over by one of the colleges in town, and they have really pretty uh, pea gravel, and I thought about going over and getting a bucket full, but... I don't, I think it's, um, bigger stones, like what I already have. So I kind of liked these smaller ones, you know, you think fairy, you think small. And then let's talk about fairies. I've not heard anybody talk about this today. I don't want you to be disappointed when you go out and see my garden because I do not have any, any fairies in my garden. A true fairy garden um, just to know, it, I used to do, we used to do fairy garden classes uh, and had kids come and stuff. But a true fairy garden, you do not see the fairies. The fairies only come out at night to play, and that's true. Um, the fairies are magical, and they don't want to be seen. 
And so whenever you get up in the morning and things aren't exactly where you left them, you'll know that a fairy has been there playing. And sometimes you can get an ornery fairy. They're not always, you know, sweet and wonderful. Sometimes you get an, or uh, an ornery one and that's, that can happen. So then they're mischievous. That's the word that they say, mischievous. Hello, Jenny. Um, so yeah, that can happen. So um, I've never put a fairy in my garden because I know that the fairies only come out at night. But I have loved seeing all of the fairies that these girls have come up with and made and bought and they're absolutely adorable. But so don't be disappointed when I take you out and show you my houses and my garden because you will not see a fairy out there because they only come out at night. And I thought that was really cool. And you can Google it. It's true. <laughs> you can Google that. <laughs> it's very true. Okay. So I don't think I need to. You guys get the idea. Isn't this a pretty... I, I knew I was going to love this one. I kind of wanted to get it up to where we could really see it. I, could, well, I don't know. I was going to say I could probably just drop them in, but I really, really can't. So, okay. And I, what's my time? Oh, gosh. We're good. I say we're good, and then I'll be like, oh, no. <laughs> 45 minutes has always been great for me. Um, okay, here we go. Get that black one in there. And let me pick this up and show you guys the assortment of colors. And I'll finish it when we're done. It shouldn't harden. I mean, it hardens pretty quick, but not that quick. But look how pretty. Isn't it pretty? I think that's a really, really good one. So I think this is fun. I'm just using white mortar mix, okay? So the next thing that I knew that my little garden needed was a bridge, which we just talked about the bridges. And so I took a Cool Whip bowl and I took some scissors and I literally, I just did, I did one earlier yesterday actually. So I cut my Cool Whip bowl out. Okay. And then I cut the edge, the lip off and I cut it pretty small, I guess you could say. Okay. And then the squarer that you can get it so it's not angled. So you kind of want to cut your, uh, you know, your base there where it's not like the bowl. And then you've got yourself a nice little base for your bridge. And then they make these, I never knew this, they make, uh, this is by STEM Basics and they're mini craft sticks. Um, I'm sure you guys know about this, but I, I must be under, under all these rocks <laughs> living because I didn't know it. But they make the sweetest little craft sticks. They're just tiny. And so what you do, all you have to do is just start gluing your little craft sticks onto your Cool Whip bowl. Okay. And then I would paint it out. I would paint, whoops, oh, for Pete's sake. I would paint the bottom of the bowl part. I have like my um, chocolate tart country chic paint. And then for the top, we'll come back in and do this. I just want to make sure we have time outside. Um, I have Country Chic Smoky Quartz Glaze. Um, or I also have some brandy and um, chocolate tart to kind of mix it and make it look like it's stained. Um, I was just going to play with it. So we'll see. But like I said, there were so many super cute little um, bridges. But this was so easy, silly, easy. It's silly, easy. Let's, let's do this and go faster. This is silly easy. And you just literally do this all the way, all the way down. And you're gonna have a little bridge. And then I thought, what I was thinking was after I hit the um, bottom, I could stick some little feet in the uh, bottom of this bridge from the back side. Ooh, that's hot going through there. Um, I could stick some little feet on this side, like I'll show you. Go like this and this, and that would give me something to press down in the ground. Now we all know this is gonna last forever, okay? Because these are literally gonna be outside with not much, there's just my soffit over top. Just a little bit of blue showing, that'll be down in the mulch. But anyway, this so this is just, so this would go down in your dirt, in your mulch, like that. And then, um, and then you can shape it to make it arc however you want to make it arc. So, but I would paint the bottom because I think whatever angle you're walking around, you may see, like catch that back side of it. So I would definitely, um, I definitely will paint mine out, whether we have time to finish. Well, let me, let me see if I, I've, I've got time. I just don't want to run out of time at the very end. And I would love to show you how to make a picnic table. Um, 
and I just Pinterested it. Mini, uh, let's see, mini popsicle picnic table. It was super easy as well. Um, let me see here. Let me make sure I'm starting to get a little dry. Let's get this on here. Oh my God, there is dry. Oh, it's a twisted bridge for sure. There we go. Okay, and then, <laughs> then, uh, let's see. So there's that and that. I'm going to stick these in just to give something to stick into the ground. Sometimes I think that really sticks faster than it really does. Okay. Hi, you guys. Oh my gosh, 800 stars? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for the stars. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you guys so much. I'm sorry I haven't been looking up. I'm trying to you know, stay with it here. So anyway, there's your little bridge. And then I thought, oh, just for a little decoration, if you wanted to, you could run, um, I was just gonna do a straight line here of jute like that. And just run a straight line of jute right across just to give it a little something cute. But one of the girls yesterday kind of twisted around her, um, her, uh, boards and I said, oh, and and if you look this up on Pinterest too, they show you how. Oh, see, I want to curl that underneath, don't I? They um, made like like a walking bridge, like they made the the sticks be the railing and all of that. I don't need all of that, you guys. I just I just need a little bit of something something out there. So um, there we go. There we go. Okay. And then I should have left myself a little more. We'll just stick that way down in the mulch. Okay, I'm good. I still have 20 minutes. I'm fine. I just get nervous. <laughs> okay, so give myself plenty here. And that just gives it a little, I don't know, it almost gives it a nautical edge, more like what Dina was doing. I think Dina had cute bridge too. If I remember, she had a really cute bridge. I think she made it. I can't, I'm, they're all running together. I know I was like fairy gardened out yesterday. Like when I sat down at the end of the day, I thought, wow, that was a lot of fairy garden. But you know what? This morning I got up and I kept watching for it. When's it starting? Like I'm so excited to see more. It's ridiculous. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm going to want to make some planters and all of the stuff you guys did. Um, I really kind of, yeah, the other girls, like they're so inspiring and it was so fun to watch. Um, I know, I know I thoroughly enjoyed it, like all the way, everybody. That's probably why everybody's <laughs> only sharing everybody. Okay. Oh, come on. Okay. There we go. And I don't really wait, it wait, it'll be that much. Okay. And then we're going to go outside and take a quick peekaboo at mine. And then we'll come back in and see if I have time to whip out this picnic table. Um, let me show it to you, just in case, you know, it's dinner time and you need to go, but you really want to see the picnic table and what I'm talking about. Hang on a minute. <laughs> Let me get this. So many possibilities. I know. I know. Hi, Linda. Hi, friend. So um, here is my picnic table. Now, it's a little bit wonky, but it works. But it worked really great. And it was super quick, just like that bridge. It was super quick. It's a little crookedish. But um, we're going to go, we're going to go, oh, I'm only going to have one hand. I'm probably not going to be able to do this with you guys, but we're going to travel. We're going to go travel. Come with me for a little walk. Come with me and you'll see in the world. I got to change my glasses because these are my up close glasses. Those are my far away glasses. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ready? Flip you. Aw. Okay. So I am in Ohio and in Ohio, our, uh, it's a little early for our season here. We, um, we, uh, it's too soon to plant. So I bought, oops, one fell over. I bought a couple of plants there and I will get those planted. I bought those at an antique show of all places a couple weekends ago. Well, down in Cincinnati. And um, so here we go. I just have my succulents. This is actually real fairy grass. Um, and it, this is 